We already covered the basics when it comes to solving age word problems, but what do you do if you're looking for conditions involving each digit? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, kanina, this is part of the age problem series natin. I talked about the basics hanggang sa kung paano mag-construct ng equation, hanggang sa kung paano makuha yung tamang sagot. If you haven't seen that series yet, ililink ko na lang din dito. This is the part na mag-level up na tayo pagdating sa mga difficulty ng question. Pero, again, if you've seen those videos, mas madali na ito for you. Okay? But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel or cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way for you to do that is through buying our merch like this trying hard shirt that I'm wearing right now so if you're interested to get those you can visit our shop so shop.teamlika.com to order yours at uh, to check out din kung ano yung pa yung mga gusto ninyong makuha mugs, caps, uh, hoodies and other stuff like that alright sa mga bibili na maraming salamat sa inyo sa bibili pa lang maraming salamat din sa mga hindi pa makakabili that's perfectly fine again this is just all of us doing what we can to make sure that we keep keep the lights on pagdating sa advocacy nito so maraming salamat sa inyo who sponsor this uh, entire movement na kahit pa paano kahit na nasa gitna tayo ng pandemic at the time na I'm filming this we can keep making free content for everyone so thank you sa inyong lahat and now that we have that out of the way I'm going to switch over to my laptop I'll see you in a bit alright ito yung lecture natin on age problems involving digits and uh, if hindi nyo pa napapanood yung full series natin sa basics ng solving ng age problems, nakalink din sila dito sa taas, sa i button. If you're watching on YouTube, kasi mas maganda kung sisimulan nyo dun sa part 1 hanggang dun sa uh, pagsasolve using equation and then yung table technique. Pag naintindihan nyo na yun, hopefully this type of problem will come easy. Okay? Here's a sample of the problem na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. So, if you notice, medyo mas complicated siya dun sa dati. Pinag-uusapan yung digits ng age nung mga tao. So, here we have, sabi dito, the first digit of the mom's age is her daughter's age, no? So, yung edad nung anak na babae, yun yung first digit no edad nung nanay. And the second digit is that of the son. Ibig sabihin, yung pangalawang digit naman ay yung edad nung kanyang anak na lalaki. If the son is twice as old as the daughter, ibig sabihin, times 2 nung edad nung daughter, yung edad nung son, and the sum of all their ages, pag pinagsama-sama natin yung edad ng nanay, ng anak na babae at anak na lalaki, 30 daw yun. How old is the son? Okay? Now, paano natin ito isosolve? Now, the first thing we need to understand is that tatlo yung mga tao na pinag-uusapan dito. You have the mom, the daughter and yung son. Now, yung ages nila ay pwede natin i-represent nung, uh, nung X, okay? Na hahanapin natin sa ating uh, problem solving. Now, para mas madali yung pagsosolve natin, simulan natin dun sa daughter at sa son. Madali kasi yung relationship or yung uh, equation ng kanilang edad. Ang sabi dito, the son is twice, pag sinabing twice, that is two times as old as the daughter. So, yung son equals daw siya sa two times nung kay daughter. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito, unang tanong, sinong mas matanda? Kung yung edad nung anak ng lalaki ay two times nung sa babae, syempre mas matanda yung dun sa son. This part right here, dito naguguluhan yung marami, sa kung sino ang ita times two. Again, na-discuss natin yan sa part one nung series natin sa age problems nasa description box din sa baba okay? now, kung yung son ay twice as old as the daughter or times 2 nung edad nung daughter pwede natin gawing x na lang yung edad nung daughter tapos, since times 2 nito yung sa son magiging 2x siya okay? ito yung pinaka parang basic na building block nung ating uh, magiging equation mamaya so the, uh, the daughter's age is x the son's age is 2x. Okay? Now, what do we do next? 
Ang kailangan natin intindihin ngayon would be yung edad ng mom. Now, paano natin makukuha naman yung pinakamagiging representation nung edad ng mom? Digits ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung first digit daw ay yung age nung kanyang daughter, which is X. Diba? Yung first digit is yung X. At yung second digit naman ay yung age nung son, which is 2X. Pero hindi natin to pwedeng basta isulat na ganyan. Hindi siya multiplication, hindi siya addition. Ano ba muna yung ibig sabihin ng digits? Now, let's take an alternative example. One of the things na lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo kapag naguguluhan tayo sa kung anong ilalagay sa equation is kumuha tayo ng sample from real life. Now, if, kunyari, ang nanay, ang edad niya ay, uh, sabi natin, 36. Diba? Medyo may pagkakahawig naman kasi times 2 ng 3 yung 6. Kung kunwari lang ang edad niya ay 36, ano ang ibig sabihin ng 36? Now, if you notice, 3 yung digit na to, 6 yung digit na to. Pero yung 36, hindi siya 3 plus 6, hindi siya 3 times 6. Paano lalabas yung 36 sa numbers na 3 at 6? Anong ginagawa natin? Hindi ganito, ba? Ang ginagawa natin is yung first digit, ita times 10 natin. So, 3 times 10, tapos idadagdag natin dito yung second digit, which is 6. 3 times 10 plus 6. Ibig sabihin, kung ganito siya nag-work in real life for numbers, ba? What we have to do to get yung age ng mom, at para ma-plug in natin siya sa equation, is imumultiply natin yung first digit, which is x. Yan, imumultiply natin siya sa 10. So, this will be 10x, tapos idadagdag natin yung second digit, which is 2x. Okay? So, again, ang kailangan natin gawin is intindihin kung paano siya nag-work in real life. Now, i-rewrite ko lang yun really quickly. Again, yung edad ng mom now becomes... 10 times the first digit, which is x, plus yung second digit, which is 2x. Okay, now, we all have yung mga edad na nila. Pabalikan natin yung equation. Ang sabi dito, the sum of all their ages is 30. Ibig sabihin, kapag in ko to lahat, ang lalabas dyan ay 30. At dito namang gagaling yung equation na gagamitin natin to solve this problem. Okay? Now, let's write that. 30, ang sum, so 30 equals, you have yung adad ng nanay, which is 10x plus 2x plus yung edad ng daughter, which is x, plus yung edad ng son, which is 2x. Okay? Napagsasamasamahin lang natin yan. You have 30 is equal to 10x plus 2x, which is 12x plus x plus 2x. So, 30 is equal to 12 plus, this, diba? this is 1x eh. Pa-combine lang natin siya. So, 12, 13, tapos plus 2, 15x. So, 15x. Now, para makancel yung 15 dito sa side na to, again, yung rules lang natin sa equality, di-divide natin both sides by 15. Okay, makakancel ito, magiging 1 na lang siya. So, 30 divided by 15 is 2, which means ang 2 ay yung ating x. Okay? Now, ang hinahanap dun sa problem is the age of the son. Yan. How old is the son? So, ang son ay 2x. Ibig sabihin, isa substitute lang natin. etong 2 na to, dito. So, para makuha natin yung edad ng son, that is 2 times x, which is 2 or 4. So, ang edad ng son ay 4. The answer is 4. Now, para ma-check natin ito, Pwede natin i-substitute yung x dun sa value ng daughter at mother. Titignan natin kung magiging 30 siya. Now, kung ang x natin ay 2, the daughter's age is 2. So, 2 years old yung daughter. Tapos yung nanay naman, ang first digit daw ay 10 times 2, which is 20, plus 2 times yung x, which is 4. So, 24 yung nanay. Now, kung i-add natin yung 24, 2 at 4, yan ay 30. So, tama tayo dyan. So, ibig sabihin... Definitely, the son's age is 4 years old. Okay? So again, it's a little bit tedious, pero you can get to the answer. Alright, now it's time for your quick quiz. Again, it's an each problem involving digits din 
much like yung una natin sinolve, pero this time it's your turn. And uh, if kulang kayo sa oras, you can hit pause naman sa ating video para you can have more time to answer. But if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay? Now, ito yung same problem na binigay ko sa inyo sa quick quiz. Isosolve lang din natin katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. Okay? Now, sabi dito, the first digit of the dad's age is his son's. So, dad na ipinag-uusapan natin ngayon. And the second digit is that of the daughter. If the daughter is thrice as old as the son, and the sum of all their ages is 34, how old is the father? Okay? Now, meron tayong uling tatlong tao. You have your Dad, tapos yung son, and then yung daughter. Okay? Now, kung meron akong iradagdag dito, it's that kapag nag-exam kayo at may ganitong klaseng tanong, baka hindi ganito exactly yung pagkakakakompose ng sentence. Hindi ganito exactly yung mga given. Pwedeng friends sila, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng grandparents yung pinag-uusapan. But the concept remains the same. Okay? Now, yung first digit daw nung dad's age ay yung sa son. Second digit yung sa daughter. Okay? Now, if the daughter is thrice as old as the son. Pag sinabi naman natin thrice, ang ibig sabihin kasi ng thrice ay three times. Okay? So, yung daughter, three times nung edad nung son. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, yung son, siya yung gagawin nating x. At yung daughter naman ay three times ng x or three x. Na kung naguguluhan kayo dun sa pagsosolve, pag-add, pag-multiply ng mga... Uh, may X, may letters, ganyan. Yung algebra natin na lesson on combining like terms at yung multiplying din ng mga, uh, ng mga ganitong classing variables ay nandun din sa, sa playlist natin sa algebra dito sa taas. So, you can click on the I button. Okay? Now, now that we have that, yung age naman ng dad. Again, the first digit ng age ng dad would be yung sa son. So, that would be X. Second digit, yung dun sa kanyang daughter, which is 3 x. But again, hindi yan basta ganyan. Para makuha natin yung totoong value, i-multiply natin by 10 yung first digit. So, this will be 10x. Tapos, idadagdag natin yung second digit which is 3x. Okay? Now, ang sabi doon sa problem, ang sum daw nila lahat, pag pinagsama-sama natin yan, okay? Yan lahat ay dapat maging 34. So, kung isosolve natin siya, sulat natin yung ating equation. 34 is equal to we have yung age nung dad, which is 10x, plus 3x, yung age nung son, which is x, plus yung age nung daughter, which is 3x. So, 34 is equal to 10x plus 3x is 13x. Okay, again, we're just combi combining like terms. Plus x plus 3x. So, 34 is equal to 13 plus, and then this is x or 1x, so 13 plus 1 is 4. Plus 3, that is going to be 17, 17x. Para mawala yung 17, i-divide natin both sides by 17. Okay, maka-cancel ito. Magiging x na lang siya, which is yung hinahanap natin. 34 divided by 17 is 2. So, x is equal to 2. Which means, yung son ay 2 years old. Yung daughter, which is times 3 nito, Okay, which is 3 times 2, 6 years old. At yung dad, dahil ang first digit ay 2, at yung second digit ay 6, ay 26 years old. Na kung i-add natin lahat yan, this will be 26 plus 2, 28 plus 6, 34. So, ibig sabihin, tama tayo dyan. Okay? Ang answer natin is that the dad is 26 years old. Now, I hope you got this correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. Again, it's a really tricky and more advanced na type ng problem. If you want me to post more 
kinds ng mga each problems, make sure problems, solution problems na di pong lumalabas sa exams, let me know in the comment section ng video na ito. Pero if you want more quick quiz questions, you can follow me on Instagram at Laika Maravilla uh, para doon sa mga bagong quick quiz questions natin na pinapost ko sa Instagram stories. And um, doon natin nakikita kasi kung ano pa yung lessons na kailangan kong unahin na gawin for you. And of course, if you want the throwback quick quiz questions, you can follow at Team Laika on Instagram din. Uh, meron silang pinopost na mga sets din ng questions doon. And of course, updates sa uh, shipping ng reviewers at sa review program natin at iba pang mga speaking engagements. If you're on TikTok, you can also follow us on TikTok at Team Laika for the English, Math, and Logic Problems para sa mga mag exam sa inyo at sa mga gustong matuto. And of course, at Laika Maravilla naman for my personal account. Doon natin pinapost yung mga motivational videos, tips, advice, at kung ano-ano pang mga skits or day in the life mini vlogs na ginagawa ko. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Sana na exam din sila. Dati nga sarami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash team like We would love to hear back then from you. Comment na rin kung may request pa kayo ng ibang topics na gusto nyo pag-usapan natin sa susunod. Subscribe and if you haven't yet, hit that bell icon kasi marami pa tayong kailangan pag-usapan. And as always, as we always see sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja, aja. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. Alright, so thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you want to learn something else, there's a video right here that you can watch. And if you want to get to know me better on a more personal level, you can like a more video vlogs on the channel. My second channel is right here. You can subscribe to that as well. See you soon.